All right, and as we come back out live, they've just announced Abe Hamaday is about to take the stage. So I'll peek over my shoulder. He's got his hand over his heart. He's thanking his supporters. Let's see if he gives a concession speech. Let's listen in if we can. We didn't go through all this hard work to only get here, right? We came to finish what we started. And it started with securing our elections. If you see what we just witnessed in the past 24 hours is incompetence. And you know what? For so long I've been, I keep hearing you know, what is the biggest threat to democracy? They keep saying it's us. The biggest threat to democracy is incompetent elected officials. But I'm telling you right now, you all know me as a happy warrior, right? Come January, me and Governor Kerry Lake will fix this mess. There are still so many ballots left to be counted. It's unfortunate that we don't have the results right now. Look at every other state. You have Florida, which has five times our population. They have their results tonight. Every other state. How have we tolerated this right here in Arizona? We've become the laughing stock when it comes to our elections. And it's time we clean them up, Arizona. This is gonna be a long fight. Right now, I assure you, wait a few more days. The media back there, let's shock the hell out of the get. Right now, you know, if you look at, if you look at August 2nd, you all remember that beautiful day? I'm telling you right now, it's unfortunate that we couldn't have that ability to declare a winner. And it really, it didn't rob me of our victory. It robbed we the people. And that's something that they have to understand. That all we're asking for is free, fair, and transparent and competent elections. But Arizona, once every single vote is counted, once every single vote is counted, I assure you, we will be victorious. Thank you, Arizona. Let's go win. All right, that was Abe Hamaday, 31 years old. Would be one of the youngest attorney generals in decades if he is elected. That's the first time we've heard from him tonight. A lot of confidence from him. He's promising a long fight. He said come January, he and Kerry Lake will, will fix Arizona's election system. It's important to point out that uh, er, you know the length of time it takes to count ballots is not a new feature of election of Arizona's election system. It's been this way for quite some time. It's partly because of the popular the popularity of mail-in ballots, and in particular, it's partly because of the signature verification system that Republicans are supportive of. It takes a while to verify signatures, and that is an election security feature that Republicans have historically backed. Eliminating that might speed things up. Uh, all right, I want to send it back to you guys in the studio. At, at this point, uh, Jared and Nicole, we have not heard yet if Blake Masters is going to speak, but uh, there's a good chance that he will. There's still a very large crowd out here at uh, Republican HQ in Scottsdale. Yeah, he is the one outlier at this point. And yeah. really quickly, uh, the race uh, we just heard from uh, Abe Hamaday, he has about 150,000 votes to make up, something he can certainly do as uh, more results well, as, come in. And, and as far as Masters speaking, I was uh, text messaging awesome. with members of his campaign. I said, is he going to speak tonight? And what I got from him is, quote, unlikely. So there you go. I think he's waiting to see for it. waiting to see like some more updates before he gets out there and speaks and whatnot. It's right. tough.